everyone, it's Tali Rose and welcome back to my channel and we are here for the very long awaited move and vlog. Oh my god, I can't even tell you how long this has taken for us to move. I'm sorry if it sounds really echoey, obviously we're moving house, the so things are like a lot more empty than they were, so my voice sounds a little bit echoey, but oh my gosh, if you've been here from the beginning of this journey, it's been a journey, let me tell you that. Um, if you're new here, I have been moving house for about seven months now. Um, we actually sold the house back in February and it is only just going through now. A lot has happened since, since the last time I filmed, since my last vlog. Um, yesterday, basically, also if you're new here, I like to move up and down the country all the time. Um, I'm currently in Lancashire and me and my family are moving to Cornwall. Um, we have lived in Cornwall before, just as a little backstory. I'm from up north, we moved to Cornwall, we moved back up north and now we're moving back to Cornwall. So I like to go up and, we like to go up and down the country all the time. Um, so we're moving back to Cornwall, which is six hours away from where I am. So it's a six hour journey. So it's a journey. Um, and it's been very stressful trying to sort it all out as you probably know. Um, we've had so many problems with the selling of the house that it's just taken seven months to go through and they've still not given us a date and obviously we needed to know for like moving guys to like find someone available that's going to be able to do it like within a week um and it's a big move like you know it's not something you can do in just one trip so yesterday was a very hectic day i didn't film yesterday because i also have a very severe dust allergy and i was sneezing all day long obviously there's a lot of dust with moving stuff and yeah i was just sneezing all day long but basically the removal guy came yesterday and took most of our stuff down to cornwall last night and we have like a storage unit down there so he had the key for that and he went into the storage unit dropped all of our stuff off down there bless him today is thursday so that was wednesday today is thursday today we are going to make sure everything from the house is downstairs ready to go on friday morning um so basically i'll show you around what left to go um but basically all that should be left on friday morning to do is bring our mattresses down obviously because we'll be sleeping on them um tonight and then friday morning everything from downstairs can just go straight in the van and we can go um because we want to make it as speedy as, pos as possible i thought today would be a little bit easier for me to vlog because it's not as hectic like literally yesterday i was taping up boxes the guys were literally just taking them from me and chucking them in the van it was just a lot so my camera would have probably been taken and put in the van and i probably would have never seen it again <laughs> if that happened if i left it out it would have gone I decided which is a really good tip if you're moving house to pack myself a suitcase so i've got stuff in my suitcase that basically if i was going on holiday i would pack so i've got like all like the underwear that i'll need for like two weeks basically i've got um clothes outfits pajamas things that i can just chuck on and wear when i'm down there um and then all my toiletries in a small suitcase and my hair stuff um, and then I've got all the stuff on my bedside table in a box that I'm going to keep with me to go down with so that I've got all my essential stuff like there to go because there's nothing worse than like when you've moved house and then you don't know where anything is and like you don't know where your toothbrush is you don't know where your straighteners are like you know what I mean like it's just so much easier if I know that all my essential stuff is in there so I'm basically living out of these suitcases at the minute all of my clothes everything is gone um apart from everything that is in these suitcases so these are going to stay with me for the foreseeable and then tomorrow he's coming at about one o'clock to fill the van he thinks we'll be done in an hour which is crazy um so everything will be chucked in the van we'll clean the house and everything ready for the new people moving in and that is us moved and then we've got a six hour drive down to cornwall I'm moving in with my dad, which I've already mentioned. I'm sorry, this is such a long intro, but I feel like I need to update you on the situation. I've not really sat and spoken to you about moving um, just because it's so boring and so much has happened. And I knew I wanted to just sit and properly talk about it like in the moving vlog. As for my mum and grandma, they're gonna be living in the caravan, which is why I've gone to my dad's because um, they're gonna be living in the caravan until we can find a house. The housing situation in Cornwall right now is a joke. I um, don't even want to talk about it. So I'm going to be filming today. I'm going to be filming tomorrow. And we're going to be doing most of the work today. So that tomorrow is literally bunging it all in the van. And 
down to Cornwall we go. So we've also got family visiting today to say their goodbyes, which is really sad. Um, so that's why I wanted to make myself look presentable because yesterday I did not. Quickly show you what my room's looking like. I'm sorry that it's a mess, but you're gonna have to excuse that for this whole video because everything in this house is a mess. As you can see, my bed is on the floor. <laughs> um, so we took my bed down a couple of days ago now. So that's my bed on the floor. Um, this chair and plant, I guess, can stay like that. Um, what have I got here? Yoga mats. And then this is what I was talking about. So this is all the stuff that I kind of want to take with me in the car. So that's a suitcase that I need to organise and shut, but it's got quite a lot of clothes in there that I can wear over the next couple of weeks um, if I can't find my clothes in the storage unit. Um, then this is all like my toiletries, my makeup, my perfume, my deodorant, all that sort of stuff in there. Shampoos, conditioners. This is all my bedside table stuff. So I've got like my inhalers, my um, vitamins, stuff like that in that box. And then this in here, I think are like my crystals and my perfumes and all them like glossy boxes. Uh, we've got Winnie's beds. I've got a box that I need to open up and fill. Um, got some ladders because I need to take all this blue tack down. I don't know if you can see up there, but from my fairy lights that I had going around my wall, I need to get up there and take them down. Um, then we've got my mirror. I probably need to bubble wrap this, but I think he said he's gonna put it in between the mattresses so that it's like safe. Some CDs down there, I think they're my mum's. Highway code I need to get rid of. <laughs> um, then we've got my TV unit and my TV. Um, again, bubble wrap the TV. A plant, my ring light, and that's pretty much it for this room. Then we've got my bed. So this is my bed completely taken apart. Um, a little bin. And then this stuff I need to pack up in a box. So I've got like my bikinis in there. There's some like painting bits, some pictures, my record player, that sort of stuff. That needs to all go in a box. That's some bedding from Jensen's bed. My dressing table mirror. Then my bathroom is looking pretty empty. I mean, there's not much going on in here. I've got like some cleaning bits because I obviously need to clean once everything's done. Um, yeah, all like the ornaments and stuff have gone. Apart from this, I need to go bubble wrap this as well. And that, I need to get rid of that pampas grass as well. Um, and towels and stuff. Um, and then this is the spare room. So <laughs> this is where it gets messy. Um, so there's just little bits left, you know what I mean? Like these boxes can all go in the recycling because we don't need them. All of these clothes are going to charity. Um, I've also got my wardrobe, which I need to empty some last bits of clothes. They need to go in a box as well. Um, and then I think I've just got like bags of bedding and stuff. I don't even know what's in there. And some like boxes. I think I've got some box of like memory stuff as well. So yeah, it's starting to look very empty in here, even though you're probably like, you've got so much stuff still. Um, we did have a lot of stuff. So this is like quite empty for our house. The rest of the house is, you don't even want to see, it's a mess. Let me see if I can actually show you because I want to do like a, <laughs> I just want to keep you updated. So this is grandma's room. Obviously she's got a mattress. Doll's house, this is the biggest issue. It's very heavy. So trying to move that is just going to be hell. But how cute is it? I actually love it. Um, so grandma's bed on the floor. She's got her own sweet bathroom. And then this is like the dressing room area that we had, oh, excuse Winnie. This is a dressing room area that we had like big wardrobes in. So they're all gone. Yeah, it's just like little bits left in there as well. Winnie, the pest. Yeah, the pest. <laughs> then we've got mum's room. Yours is looking quite empty actually. <laughs> Right, and then we've got the kitchen, which is looking very empty as well. To be fair, it's not. <laughs> There's still stuff. Um, a lot of them shoes, I think, were been in. Um, when he's bed, are we taking that little swingy thing as well? Yeah. Um, yeah, everything's looking pretty empty. I'm not gonna show you in the living room because grandma's in there. We've still got like the TV, obviously. Why is it so weird, the lighting? We've still got the TV down there um, and we've got the sofas and everything are still there. So all of the stuff now that we've got left is going tomorrow. Um, also, this is another big issue. These are all our house plants and we have quite a lot. Like if we go outside, that is a lot. 
Um, so who knows what's going to happen with them. Poor little Winnie and Willow don't know what's going on. Do you? <laughs> you don't know what to do with yourself. I feel like I'm in the ultimate like moving house outfit. Like if this doesn't scream I'm moving house, I don't know what does. Look, hey. say hi to the vlog. Say hi. <laughs> so yeah, it's all go. Um, we've also got the utility room. The utility room looks exactly the same to be fair. Um, so yeah, it's all go, it's all happening. Um, I guess I'll film a few little time lapses of me filling boxes, bring them downstairs. I'll film as much as I can, but like I said, it is quite difficult because there's just so much going on. And yeah, um, I don't really know where to begin. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll film as much as I can today and tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's move house, Wayne. Woo -woo. So it's a while later since the last time I filmed and we've literally just been obviously packing up the last bits of boxes, taking all the stuff downstairs so that it's like downstairs and ready to go. So we're going to order some food now. I think I'm going to get pizza in between seeing family. We've been like just packing up stuff and taking it downstairs. My room's pretty much nearly empty apart from my mirror and my TV. That still needs to go downstairs this is what the spare room's looking like so them three bags there for the charity shop um and then we've got some cushions over there and just some little bits down there that need to go to charity oh i also need to bag this up as well that needs to go to charity shop as well these are all like little bags and bits and stuff um that can just go in the bin um i've got so many of them shein bags and i love using them but they're just I've got that many that I don't need them um and then that's like a mattress topper so that needs to be folded up nicely somewhere um that's it for this room obviously we've got this table here this is my wardrobe situation I've just got one more bag left in there but all of my like clothes are empty out here is looking a little bit more messy um but that's a bin bag that needs to go in the bin these two are like bits of bedding, like spare bedding. That's got paint stuff in, that's got my hangers in, like to hang stuff up, then we've got my fan down there and some bins, little bits of stuff. Um, this is my room, it's obviously my bed. Um, still need to put these in a box or a bag, or I'll probably put them in a back bag actually. And the rest of the house is looking pretty much similar to this. It's just like the last little bits of stuff that just need taken downstairs. Um, just a bit more organisation um, but if you've moved house you'll know that it's just stressful and everything's all over the place for ages. I'm gonna have some food now, have a bit of a relax for a minute and have some food and then we can get back to packing the last few bits up and getting it all downstairs ready to go for tomorrow morning, the big move day. Hi guys, it's day two of the big move. Actually today is the big day. <laughs> today is the day that everything's happening. Um, I didn't film for the rest of last night because like I said we were just having a relax we had some food we had a takeaway and we didn't do anything for the rest of the day so today we have got up and we're just trying to get things sorted and just make it easier for the moving guys so it's 11 o'clock now um, and the moving guys are coming at one i think so i'll film as much as i can today it's obviously going to be such a crazy day like we're literally 
moving house so like everything in this house will be gone and then we need to like clean the house obviously and then literally we'll be doing the six hour journey down to Cornwall and I'll be moving in with my dad it's just it's gonna be a crazy day I haven't filmed anything yet today and I'm sat in the same position as I filmed this morning um but we have emptied pretty much the whole house ready for our guy come in to help us um I've literally done everything I can I'll show you in a second um so we've emptied the house we're waiting for the guy to come and take everything we've taken everything downstairs up from the heavy things like my mirror, my mattress. I'm literally finding it so difficult because <laughs> I've got like two infected fingers. So basically because I have like really bad eczema, I don't have like, I have really bad eczema like on my hands um, and I don't have any cuticles on like some fingers. So basically it means that they get infected, um, which is, oh, awful um so i've been trying to ring the doctors literally all day to get an appointment or get like something for today because i really need antibiotics um but i've literally been on the phone like on hold for ages and they've just said i need to get the call 111 um which we haven't got time for and we haven't got time to go and see someone so i'm trying to get some like antiseptic or something on it i just this is the last thing we need today um but i'll show you what my room's looking like it's actually so sad because everything's just like slowly disappearing um please just ignore my hand we've just tried like bandaging it up so if you see my hand like this that's why <laughs> um so yeah we've pretty much everything that's left up here is either for charity or stuff that's going in the car with us that like i need um for when we get there this is what my room is currently looking like that box can go downstairs um so this is all stuff that needs to come with me got my suitcases um just little bags of stuff that i need for now um my mattress is there and my mirror um that's literally it for this room then out here everything's gone just got my little camera charger down there um this is my wardrobe that I don't feel like you've ever seen because it was always like just full of stuff but that was my wardrobe on the landing. Toilet is empty obviously need, everything needs a good clean but um, my shower and everything and then this was Jensen's room slash spare room um, and this one's a little bit more full because we've got stuff to go to different places so we've got those four bags there that need to go to charity shop so we're going to do that in a second um and then we've got just bits for like the tip that was like a mattress topper um and then some like old cushions and stuff um and then i'll show you downstairs quickly probably the last time i'll film the house just because it's getting hectic from here onwards um this is mum's room mattress mirror her bathroom um my grandma's in there with the dog so i'm not gonna show you my grandma's room but all that's in her in her room is like a mattress and her doll's house that i showed yesterday i think then we come downstairs got winnie's little bed um and this is where majority of the stuff is so we've got oh my god that's all from my pampas grass um mum's bed my bed the sofas tvs plants some bits from my room that's all down here and then majority is in here so this is like literally all of our stuff like all the kitchen stuff um yeah that's what it's looking like and then we've still got the plants outside um but we're slowly getting rid of everything um so yeah that is situation currently we're just waiting for the guys to come with the van so then we can start loading the van and then i think once we've done that oh <laughs> once we've done that then it will be a little bit easier like we'll be able to see clearer and everything will be done this end then um but yeah i'll update you when the guys 
home with the van and then we can load the van, get everything in the van and then we're pretty much sorted. Right guys, I'm filming this on my phone because I don't know where my camera charger is anymore. <laughs> Um, but we finally cleared the house. I don't know what time it is. It's like half seven or something like that at night. We thought we'd be done at two o'clock. Yeah, that didn't happen. Um, so basically we filled up the van and everything didn't fit like we thought it would. Um, so we've still got lots of bits left in the garage that needs to go. Um, but we're gonna sort that, it'll be fine. So yeah, we've packed up the house, everything is packed up. It's literally empty, it's so sad. Um, so we've just got like finishing little bits to do, um, like cleaning up and stuff, and then we're setting off down to Cornwall. Um, I'm not gonna go through like the whole house and show you, but I just wanna show you like the upstairs part that it's all empty. Um, if you've been watching my channel since like right at the beginning, then you would have seen like the house tour of was like first moving in. Um, my bedroom. Still got some bits up there, but oh, my bedroom. I'm gonna miss it so much. So yeah, last finishing touches to do, and then we're gonna be on our way. So this is the last time I'm ever vlogging in this bedroom. How sad is that? Um, we've had some great times in this room. Um, in this house, actually, we've had some amazing memories. Um, and I will be sad to leave it, but we've got a new chapter now. We're moving to Cornwall, fresh start, new start and all of that. I look really weird in this lighting. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got fresh start in Cornwall. I'm sneezing loads because like I said, I have a dust allergy. So it's like the worst thing ever for me. Um, and we've said our final goodbyes to family and everything. <laughs> um, I've had to keep her on a lead because we don't trust that um, she'll not escape because we've obviously had like doors and stuff open all day this is the car this is our car filled up literally right to the brim the guys with the van have already gone can't really see the car literally no room for me um and this is our house by the way if you've never seen the house i've never really shown the front apart from when we moved in but yeah this is the house my bedroom on the top right and then that was the spare room my house. Hi everyone, so it's been ages since I lost I last updated you. I've just been editing the moving vlog now and I didn't even film an ending. We ended up getting to Cornwall at two o'clock in the morning, which was just crazy, and then um I've just been really busy ever since, so I didn't have a chance to finish this vlog, but I'm gonna finish it here. I'm at my dad's now. We've also been trying to find a house as well whilst we've been down here um so yeah there's lots of fun exciting videos to come so make sure you stay tuned for them but i really hope you've enjoyed this moving vlog it was a little bit all over the place i really hope you enjoyed if you did definitely give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that means so so much to me and i will see you in my next video bye